Life is supposed to be hard. The thought that life is supposed to be easy and we're supposed to be comfortable is false. People just want ice cream. People just want to watch movies, chill and watch Netflix all day long. But people don't want to suffer. People don't want to put in the work. People don't want pain, bro. That pain that I always talk about, that's where the reward is. Think about video games, bro. I I F with video games, bro, but there comes a point in your life where you got to say, damn, dog, I'm spending all this time on these video games, and what am I really gaining from it? Unless you're a professional gamer, unless you're part of the FaZe Clan getting paid $50,000 to win a FIFA tournament, unless you're doing that, bro, video games are a waste of time. Unless Or unless you got your shit together and then you just use it to relax. But most of the time, people play video games excessively, bro. People put in five, six, seven hours a day into what, bro? Ask your question. What are you really putting work into? I know that video games release dopamine in your brain. And that's why people get addicted to it. Because it feels like you're progressing. Because your character keeps leveling up. And you keep defeating all the top bosses. And everyone wants to be your team because you're a beast. But at what cost, bro? At what cost? You're probably drinking a Coca-Cola bottle. You're snacking on some M&Ms. And you're probably neglecting your workouts because you're too busy on the video games, bro. Make life your video game, dog. Make yourself the main character, bro. Because we're living in this matrix, bro. This is a fucking matrix that revolves about around money. Revolves around materialistic shit. At least, if you're put in that environment, at least try your best to improve. I've never hit 250 for 10. Improve. I know that's not what matters, but at least try to improve yourself. And it all starts with your mind, bro. I say it starts with your mind, and it develops with your body, bro. Once you get yourself in the weight room, bro, you're going to see all that progress, all that pain get put to use, bro. And once you see that pain you feel that pain your mind is not gonna want to play video games anymore because the weights are gonna be your video game life is gonna be your video game These ups and downs are your video game. The simulation wants you to be a freaking fat slouch. And there's nothing against being fat, bro. If you're fat, you could work your way back down. You could get skinny. It's just what your priorities are. When people say, I don't have time to go hang out with him. Or I don't have time to do that. They're lying, bro. Everyone has time. You have time for what you want in your life. If you want to lift weights... You'll figure out a way to do it. That's why when someone tells me, hey, bro, can you make me a freaking workout program? And I don't even see them putting in work with what they have. Like if they have 10 pound dumbbells, they're not even putting in work with that. Why would you give them a workout program? The workout program isn't going to change their mindset, bro. Their mindset is making excuses. They're saying that they're not going to get in the weight room because they don't have the right equipment or they don't. They don't have money. They don't have anything. It's, it's, that's just excuses, bro. If you don't have money to go to the gym, you'll figure out a way, bro. A gym isn't that expensive. I've seen gyms that cost nine ninety nine a month, bro. That's like ten bucks. 
you could probably recycle cans look for cans and recycle them and you'll get 10 bucks you'll figure it out guys i'm not saying it's gonna be easy because if this life was easy it wouldn't be rewarding bro think about it if we lived 500 years in one lifetime what would be the point of this life this the point of this life in my opinion is to grow bro you grow from your circumstances so if your circumstances aren't the best you're in the best position to grow, bro. Sometimes our darkest times, our most lowest points in life, we feel like we've been buried, but we've actually been planted, dog. That shit might sound corny, but that's the truth. Look at your, your lows as a time to develop yourself to get better. And once you get out of those lows, you'll be grateful that you went through those lows. Life is a video game, bro. You're the main character. It's up to you, bro. Are you going to be wasting time on those video games? What do you play? FIFA, Call of Duty, World of Warcraft. I don't know what you guys play, dog. But you want to, in my opinion, you should play the game called Live, bro. We sit on these couches and people consume all these shows. They consume all this music. They consume all these sports programs, bro. And when you look at it, people get mad when their basketball team loses bro i saw a video where some fool got in a fight because he was talking shit about a basketball team and i'm saying damn dog you really riding that hard for those players when those players don't even know you and they don't even care about you when win or lose those guys already secured the bag those guys are doing what they love they're making millions of dollars and we're being spectators jackie robinson i don't know if you guys know him if you fuck with baseball, you'll probably know who he is, bro. He's a legend. Look him up. First African-American to make it to the major leagues back in the 40s, 50s. He changed the game, bro. But Jackie Robbins said, he said, don't be a spectator. Don't live your life in spectator mode, bro. Don't, don't make your life revolve around sports. Don't make your life revolve around other people, celebrities. Because those fools are living life, dog. You got to make yourself live your own life, dog. And, and even if you feel like you'll never get to their levels of success, dog, you can still be successful. And success is defined by you, bro. Success for someone that comes from the gutter, bro, could be just making $80,000 a year. And that's success for them. So you don't have to be making millions of dollars. You just got to be happy with what you're doing. And you got to show up every day. Because when you think about it, at the end of the day, it's just you versus you, bro. It's not you versus your neighbor. It's not you versus your, your best friend. It's none of that. It's you versus you, you versus those weights, you versus the work. Some people say, I need to take a vacation, dog. And I'm like, why do you need to take a vacation, bro? It's because usually people aren't passionate with what they do. That's why you got to find something you like and just work on it, bro, because once you find something you like, you won't really need a vacation, bro. Why would you need to take a vacation from something that you like? Obviously, if you have the money, you could do whatever you want. Like these basketball players, when they get eliminated from the playoffs, they go to Cancun and shit, bro. But they're living life, bro. It's not it's not the same lifestyle when, when we're just average Joes or whatever the fuck they want to call us, bro. It's different. It's you versus you. You're the main character in this world. In this life, and you gotta make the best out of your situation. Life is tough, bro. Who said who said life was gonna be easy? No one said life was gonna be easy. No one gives us a manual and says, Oh, you gotta do this shit to get here. They try to tell us that we gotta go to school to be successful. And that's not the case. Everyone has their own road. As long as you find your purpose early, that's what I say. Finding your purpose is the hardest shit, dog. But once you find your purpose you just start working towards that shit you start putting in work and you'll be good bro it might not be today it might not be tomorrow but everything's gonna be all right bro